things that make the difference in our life is the little foxes that spoil the vine. It is the little foxes Amen. that spoil the vine. Yeah. The thing that messed us up, and I'm coming to you in about four minutes, the thing that messed us up, it is the little foxes that spoil the vine. Yes. Everybody say the little foxes. The, little the, little foxes. the Bible says a little leaven yeah. leaven is the whole loaf. Yeah. So the thing that messed us up is not really the big stuff. Wow. It's the little stuff that messes us up. Somebody said a little stuff. A little stuff. So what's the key? What do we need to do? Find a vision mm -hmm. that imposes discipline wow. on us. Somebody say find a vision. Find a vision. That imposes, that imposes discipline, discipline on, us. on us. You gotta find a vision. What is it that you want to see, do, believe, have, or hope for? Find that vision. Get that vision. That vision will dictate. Where you going and where you not going. That's right. Once you determine you're on the way to Baltimore, it determines where you're not going. It determines which road you're not getting off of. That's it right. determines what you're not going to be distracted. That's when you're on your way to New York, it changes everything. Your focus. Yeah. Why? You cannot afford to be distracted. Yeah. Why? Because it would hinder you reaching your goal. Yeah. Most of us, we don't have a vision of where we want to be, which is why we keep getting pulled off course. That's right. People that trust people, people trust people who they believe to be disciplined. That's right. People trust people yes. who they believe to be disciplined. Yes. If people didn't think I was disciplined or you were disciplined, they wouldn't trust you. They trust you because they believe on some level you got the, the discipline for that. That's why people trust ministers. That's why people are so hurt when ministers, quote unquote, seemingly fall because they've just had them to that standard of being the disciplined one. Even if I ain't disciplined, I know they are. That's right, Bishop. That's right. They, they hope. That's why we hold our leaders. That's why America it gets thrown by leaders, be it senators, be it uh, whoever, that, that when they mess up, we get thrown because we expect them, yeah. based on who they are, to be disciplined. That's right. That's right. That's right. Discipline comes from vision. Everybody say discipline. Discipline. Comes from, comes from vision. 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 One last thing. Each vision. A real vision. Yes. Yeah. Simplifies everything. Wow. Because we, when we know where we are going, it helps us to know what will not take us there. Yeah. Do you hear me? Yes. A real vision simplifies everything. Right? Amen. Back to that road. I keep using that road because that's a good vision. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good analogy. Uh -huh. When you know when you decide your goal is New York, when you decide your goal is Baltimore, when you decide your goal is Richmond, you know everything that will not get you there. That's right. That's right. Am I right about it? That's right. Amen. You know whatever it is that will not get you there so you don't fool with it. Right. Amen. You know the people who are going to be distracted. So if your goal is to get to New York, you know who you ain't fooling with today. Because if you fool with them, you ain't going to never get to New York. If you want, you want to make some, you want to answer your phone for certain people when your goal is to get to Baltimore. Because if I fool with them, That's I'm going right. to be delayed. I'm going to be late. I won't even let them ride with me because I know those people. I know. That's I don't, I don't get distracted when I'm on my way to Richmond. I don't, I don't get to South Hill or South Boston and be like, ooh, let's go try to see it. No! That's foolishness. Because now I have set myself for discipline. You literally discipline yourself. I tell myself, okay, I'm leaving now. I plan to be in Richmond within three or three and a half hours. I put myself on a schedule. That's right. I put myself on a path. Right. I discipline myself. I don't even take time to, to go to the bathroom to do all because why? Because I'm disciplining myself. Or if I do, it's a quick stop here. I already planned out Amen. where I'm gonna get gas Amen. and where I'm not gonna get That's gas. Right. 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 Amen. Amen. I already know. Amen. Right. I already know. I know what I'm going to buy, what I'm not going to buy. I'm not distracted. I don't get, even if I stop in South Boston going up the back way, I stop 
I'm not going to do All that. right, amen. <laughs> That's why vision simplifies your life. Yes. Yes. Because vision dictates what you're not going to do and what you are going to do. That's right. Amen. Right. Limit. Because right. when you know where you're yes. going, you know everything that won't get you there. Mm. It becomes good. clear. When you know where you're going. That's right. That's why we need vision for our individual lives as believers. Amen. That, 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 that way, when crazy stuff comes into our life, you already know. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Foolishness. Thank you, Jesus. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Amen. You already know. Because that's going to get me off. You, that's going to. I, I just know. I don't care how good it looks. I don't care how wonderful it looks, how, how well it smells. I don't care. You know it's a distraction. Exactly. Yes. You already know. Amen. That's right. Because you got to go home. Mm -hmm. And you know what's not going to get you there. Right. Amen. 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 If you go, your goal is to be healthy, wealthy, and wise, yes. you know you ain't fooling with no fool that don't have nothing. No. Amen. 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 That ain't healthy. That's no. true. That ain't trying to be wealthy or wise. No. That's already a no. That's no. right. No. That part's right. Amen. Already done. Everybody say already done. Already, already done. done. So discipline, most discipline becomes easy when we have a goal. Amen. Amen. It changes our habits. Mm -hmm. It changes our lifestyle because we know what we're getting ready to do. That's right, your lifestyle changes. You know you're getting ready to go to New York. You ain't getting ready to go get your hair now. You ain't going to get ready to go get a hair cut because you got to be on the road in 20 minutes. You might. <laughs> and he already know that. <laughs> so he already put in. Amen. He already put in a uh, plan but to deal with that. I'm going to take another nap. Why not? And she's going to sleep from North Carolina. Come on. So you know, you're already put that in place. It's already. Come on. It's already just a blend in. Right. Already done. Amen. Ain't no, no question about it. You're not you're not thrown by it. It's already a part of your discipline. Come on. Discipline. Vision simple when we know where we're going and when we gotta get there, it simplifies everything. Yes, sir. Because we know what's not gonna get us there. Well, that ain't gonna get me there. <laughs> You know, if your goal is a certain amount of income, you know what ain't gonna get you there. Okay. Right? That's right. You know that. Right. Yeah. And even if you your goal is is a hundred thousand dollars a a a year, uh, your goal you know you gotta change everything. I know. Amen. Come on. It yeah. might. It, and in high point, it might not be a job. <laughs> It's probably going to be entrepreneurship and a job. A career. A career. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. Magic word, a career, not a job. Right. Come on. We, goals. Everybody say goals. 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 Vision. Vision. Revelation. Revelation. Good, Bishop. Goals, vision, and revelation dictates the discipline. Goals, visions, and revelation dictates the discipline. But you know what your goal is, you know what you're not going to do. You know what's not going to get you there. That's right. Bring this into as believers. We got to know. We got to have a goal. The Bible says without a vision, perish. we perish. That's right. Or without a vision, people cast off restraint. They don't care. That's right. We cast off discipline because we don't have no vision. Wow. Cast off restraint. Vision dictates. Amen. Mm -hmm. Vision dictates. Yeah. Vision dictates. Mm -hmm. Let me get off that. I think I made it made the point <laughs> of how to become a super how to look like a superhero. Yeah. Vision. Yeah. Vision. People are going to look at some of you after this word. Once you apply this word, the discipline you need to apply to whatever area of your life, and they're going to say, wow, how they do that? That's amazing. And we'll have missed the point that all it was was I changed my disciplines. Right. Or I input discipline. I folded in discipline. Wow. 
Bishop lose all that weight? How did he lose 30 pounds? How is he now? 199 pounds. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's all right. I got to just, I got to change right. something. Yes, yes, yes. Good. You got to change yes, something. Yes, yes. I said it on the call Thursday. I didn't say it today, but as I close, I said it on the call that a train, a, a good training plan will never outdo a bad diet. Mm. You can't out-train a bad diet. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Amen. You cannot out-train a bad diet. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I can get up every morning, go walk, go to the gym, go to uh, Planet Fitness, and walk two hours. Right. 3.5, 4.0 for two hours straight. But if the rest of my day, I'm eating cheeseburgers, french fries, Bag, uh, things of Pringles, whole things of Pringles, that's my pizza, four slices of pizza at dinner time, at lunch time. Come on. For, uh, four pieces of uh, uh, Bojangles at night plus biscuits. Okay. Come on. All that training I did in the morning is out the window. Right. You got to work hard. Because you cannot out train a bad diet. That's right. So, the discipline, the goal, dictates what our diet is going to be. And I'm not talking about diet food. I'm talking about diet in God, diet in life, diet in, in our finances, di our, our financial uh, uh, discipline. The word is not diet, it is discipline. What our goals are will determine what our discipline is going to be. No goals, no discipline.